After he had dinner with my patriarch last night, Masumi Arakawa left Heian Tower alone. So he must have been shot on his way home. Any idea who did it? I put my money on an Omi loyalist. Pretty sure I'd win that bet, too. Hell, there were shootings in Sotenbori, too. Attempts on Captain Watase and Daigo Dojima. Are they okay? Yeah. Apparently, they had some ex-Tojo legends with them. Can't ask for better bodyguards than that. No kidding. And yeah, that does point to Omi retaliation. Uh-huh. You and your pals should be careful, since you were on the Dissolution's front lines. The Remnants will have a bone to pick with you. Yeah, that's for sure. I'll pass on the advice. Hey, everyone. God, this is hard. This is definitely hard on Ichiban, of course. Man, just even seeing that cutscene in the different color that I was in. Ooh. Coin Locker Baby is the name of this, too, so I feel like we're going to definitely dive more into the past of both Ichiban and Arakawa. Can't believe this shit anymore. The Omi wiped off the face of the earth, all because of the stupid Arakawa family. Idiots blew up their own inheritance. Their betrayal cannot stand, sawashiro -san. Mm hmm Yeah, here we go. Loyalists. Omi loyalists, so they can definitely tie this up still. Remember how we used to be sister families with the Tojo clan? We had bases in Kanto and everything. Of course, the only reason we helped Arakawa-san push the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho in the first damn place was so our family would survive too. Because we're sick and tired of the Tojo demanding tribute money just to let us keep land we'd already been living on for years. If that had kept up, we would have been crushed, just like any other family without their own territory in Tokyo. That's Fuck, why I we know worked with Arakawa in spite of can't being disloyal it. to the Tojo. Exactly. And who's going to keep any of the promises Arakawa made? He promised once he was at the top of the Omi Alliance. He would promote us to the main family. Are we just supposed to accept that won't happen now? Well, with the Omi gone, Listen, yeah. Listen, whiners, quit your belly aching. I won't let the Omi Alliance die. We'll just give it a new name. My Kanto Senpai. I know we've caused a real shit show for you, but I promise we'll pay you back in full someday. And for now, all of us are asking your forgiveness. Would this money help? I love that dude's voice actor. Their bombs. As la vista, baby. Well, just so you know, it's not like we're asking to cut ties to the Arakawa family. We'd like to keep things friendly if that's possible. Of course. After all, it was Arakawa who was the brains behind the betrayal. And now that he's gone, I'd Oh, Richard Epcard. This is settled. Richard Epcard, of course. If you need us, our door is wide open for you. Second patriarch of the Arakawa family. Thank you for your understanding. <laughs> <laughs> what? He has a bomb strapped to his chest. <laughs> <laughs> you think the score's settled? You backwater scumbags don't deserve to be called Yakuza. Excuse me? You want to repeat that? Sawashiro, you fuck. You fuck. I can get the Arakawa family back on its feet without you. Easily, in fact. All I have to do is unite the Omi already here in the East. You're way out of line. Arakawa fucked up. His captain should be on his knees right now. 
Stop! What are you doing? Bye, Richard you know, Epcard. Guys like you are all bark and no balls when it's war time. That's the kind of Yakuza I can't fucking stand. Only a few years ago, you were sucking up to the Tojo clan. Then Arakawa changed his colors, and there you were at his feet. Now he's dead, and you think you can pull the senpai card on me? Talk is cheap. The Yakuza way to lead is with bloodshed. The weak always fall in line behind the strong. Oh no. Time to accept it. Among the men in this room, you represent the weak. And that goes for all of you. Oh god. Oh the oh fuck. I think I mentioned this during my judgment playthrough. Because of anything with the eyes. Anything with eyes, I think is oh, it's the worst thing ever. And that's coming from a guy that has to put contacts in his eyes every single day. Anything that involves the eyes, whether, like, I think the worst thing that could ever happen to someone in the game poked in the eye with a pencil. Because that shit would fucking hurt. But getting your eye gouged out by your, by a thumb? Ugh. Ugh. And of course I say that with judgment because all their eyes have gone away. Just, oh. Oh, look at that. And of course, I think I mentioned that in the AI, AI the Somnian Files as well. I fully intend to start a new chapter for the Yakuza as the Tokyo Omi Alliance. I hope we can count on your support, Senpai. How'd you get blood on, one, on the other hand? Obviously makes sense for the other hand, but still. What makes you think you have any right to pull that shit? You haven't known me very long, but I think I've made a pretty strong case here for what I'm capable of. <laughs> Convince me. I'm not the type of Yakuza who's gonna sit on his hands after his patriarch got removed. What's your point? Right now, I don't know if it was you or some other Kansai punk, but I will gut the man who killed him. You have my word on that. There will be no mercy. The fuck are you saying? Every thug out there on the street knows that you killed your boss under Hauke's orders. You think picking a fight with me is your ticket to the big time? Oh, you wow. You see yourself as the a guy on top like at the dawn of a new age for the Yakuza. That ain't gonna fly. Sure. I'll give you until I've rounded up all the stragglers in Tokyo to make your move. Until then, keep sucking on the Omi's dried up teats. Oh god, our showdown with Sheriff Shawa is gonna be fuck. Like, we're fighting all three of these guys again. We're gonna fight Sarah Shawa. We're gonna fight him again. We're definitely gonna fight that one dude again. And we're for sure gonna fight Tendo for the first time. Hey. Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this bat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa son, the little fuck damn near took our guy out. We can't just hand him back to you man, without some that guy out. Somebody's got to take responsibility. I see. <sighs> well, how about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. Eh? Ugh. Crunch. <sighs> All right then. Let's go, you little shit. Let's go. I mean, it also makes sense for why he do this too, in a way. If he, if Ichiban is Arakawa's son. Oh, it's still Ichiban as the thing here. He might be the last one for all of them. It makes sense. Since I'm pretty sure we ran out of, like all of all the people that like were quote unquote important, you know. Um, but still, fuck man. Oof. Think that's your phone, man. The 
This is Hoshino. Chairman. You okay? Yeah, I guess. You don't sound okay. You eating well? Uh, no. Then start. A poor diet won't help with the grief. Meet me at Heian Tower. What for? That's the last place I saw Arakawa-san. I'll treat you to what he ate as his final meal. Pecking duck. Uh, thanks, but right now I... Just be there. Just get your ass over Fine. here. Motherfucker, I ain't having that shit. And now... Chairman Hoshino wants to meet. Yeah, at Heion Tower. Are you going? Yeah. Maybe he'll tell me about Arakawa-san's last moments. Fun times at Heion Tower! Fun times for sure! Let's go pick our plant! I wish I remember what I planted here. Like, what I planted to get the mysterious fruit. It's all good, though. Okay, so we have more part-time hero stuff popping up. Sending out some SOSs. Might as well go take them down. Since I'll just be doing story shit. Uh, so there's one here. There's one there, okay. You know what? I think we should also watch a movie. Let's go watch. We'll watch one movie first. Ah, uh, yeah, here. it was right there, right? I'll take care of this one. We'll go watch one movie. Let's see. Who have I I've watched it with? Zhao, uh, Namba, and um, Zhao, Namba, and uh, John Jihan, and um. Then I'll go watch one with Adachi. Or no, I'll watch one with Sayaka. Sayako. Sayako. Um. Oh, hey, there's only one split hired. It's cool. This could get rough. This could get rough. Time for Essence of Orbital Laser. Oh, I gotta take down some sluggers, so that's good. Fight me! Fight me! Fight me! Fight me! Fight me! Fight Essence of Orbital Laser. Let's get nutty. Yeah. I got this. Have fun with this. 
Her ice, I actually like her ice um, spreader better than um, the host yeah. one. So there's some cold, bleeding profusely. God is on fire. This motherfucker has everything. I think the only thing he doesn't have on is a poison. If that doesn't kill him, the five stas ailments he has on will. Yeah, I should do that too. I should go to the Sujimon Master and like get my reward. Bye, Eternal. Thanks, thanks to you. I'm close to that building, right? With finesse. Uh, you either have a business proposal for me, or you want to be hired. Okay, nope, you're a hiree, so that's good. Uh, oh, wait, what? Uh, why is the Sujimon thing gone? That's a good shape. Well, now I'm curious. So we'll go see where it's at. We'll go watch a movie. Should I open it? Got it. Not comedy masquerade. Uh, he's not here. What the fuck? That's weird. Huh. Maybe he's just not here right now because of the story bits, which is weird, all things considered. But, because I could... No, I cannot. Okay, so I can't do sub-stories. I cannot do sub-stories. Hmm? Right now. That's good. Well, it's not good, but you know what I mean. Uh, taxi time. Let's go watch one movie. Come on, Ichiban. There's one movie. I'm good. Oh, yeah. I also found um, all the cats, too. And then uh, he asked me to go find one more cat, and I found that one, too. And now that cat's a pound mate. Take that as you will. We'll summon that one, maybe. Dead as fuck. So I'm still kind of thinking back to the Yakuza, uh, like a dragon in a nutshell video. Let's watch one with Namba. I haven't watched one with Adachi. Because I watched one with Zhao and John Jihan. So let's watch one with Adachi. So here's the Jaws one. I wonder if they're like a fan of specific movies. 
して灰色の背びれってあれサメじゃんまあなんとかなるっしょなあヒロミおってヒロミ食われてんじゃんDumbass college kids versus a big shark. Alright, I guess we'll see if it keeps me awake. Shit, movies make me so sleepy. Oh, it's kind of a mix of. Okay, so I'm gonna do my best not to hit the roof. Um, it's kind of a mix of, obviously, Jaws. But then there's, of course, the other. There's, like, other, like, dumb college kids at seas facing, like, monster type things, so. You know, I thought you get penalized if you hit a button when there's no sheep there, but you don't. Just gotta watch out for the rooster. Oh, here come the rooster! <laughs> I have a feeling they will hide a rooster at some point in like a mix like that. Almost not at off there. I wonder if there will be more than one like stage or two stages. Like, will there be three stages at one point? Probably. I mean, there's eight movies, right? <laughs> I fall asleep for once. And I've watched one of them. Oh, well, the one as the starting thing. But I think I rewatched that one again with Nanda. <laughs> Dance the fuck out of here. I'm sleepy all of a sudden. Time to dance the fuck out of here. Cause that's what you need to do is dance. Boogie Wonderland. So actually one of the um one of the fights in the Santa Bori battle arena had like a fight against a lot of the cultists not a lot of them but there was like a good amount of them and one of them has like a rooster head on top of him for whatever reason and it reminded me of like the rooster from this thing it's like oh is that like the ro is that like is that was supposed to be like the rooster from that this thing rush mode Oh, damn it. I saw it, too. I was like, oh, that's the chicken. That's it. Damn that it. That was awesome. Whoa, I got hit again? Or did the chicken hit me for two? I'll have to check that out. If I don't get an S rank on this. Made it to the end. なんとかそれから逃げ切れたぜ。でもみんなと楽しい人たちを過ごすはずがとんでもないことになっちゃったな。でもあれ、おかしいな。前からなんか見覚えある。As <laughs> That was awesome. Esther. Not bad, I guess. That was pretty fun. I can get used to this. Totally. Glad you enjoyed it. But you know, there's a bunch more to see. 
Let's check out another one sometime. Thanks for soon. thinking of me. So itchy. Okay. Actually, I want to like look at. I just want to look at the movie selections. Just like. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six left. Okay, that's definitely not as much as I thought. Or I thought that's way more than I thought there were. So let me see here. So we have one, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's ten films. Okay. Hey. All right, let's go um, talk about, let's go to, no, we got to go save. That one other dude first. First, we gotta come here so we can eat. Get our shit back. And this is the recommended menu. I think the thing from this isn't anything. <laughs> if I remember correctly, but. Well, I mean, I don't remember. Oh, where was that hero at? Okay, up there. So I need that taxi at B. Which is actually the B place is where the... Um, that's actually where you play darts. Because I was like, you know, I was, I was looking through my thing. To be like, okay, what can I do to boost up my stats? And it was like, play darts. I'm like, oh, sweet. Where are the darts at? Well, the darts weren't at Survive Bar. Like, they usually were, were in bars. Or they weren't in the Sega thing. Because I think some of them... I think uh, 2 and 6 had darts in those in the Sega arcades. But I was like, where the hell is darts? So I was just walking around. And I saw B. I was like, oh, sweet. And then, like, this is darts. Oh, okay. Um, party. I want to just check the stats. So, yeah. Kazuga is... Definitely going to get his pageant all the way up as soon, like maybe before we even do the dragon cart, but he will for sure. We will for sure get all that shit maxed out before, maybe even before chapter 15. I don't know. But I'd like to get him maxed out on s screen if mm -hmm. at all possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that was really suspicious of me. And I'm scared to go back to the um, Ichiban Holdings thing because I'm scared if I go in there, it's gonna start the sub story with Airy. Time to clean up. You're gonna be in a world. Get serious. Yeah, uh, actually, one one thing I did before um, I did the Sante Bori uh, thing was apparently you can 
So in the underground area here, the uh, Ichin Underground. Wow, they keep shit of that stuff. Um, you go into like the the before the last air the the last area where you can fight. Then there's like the boss area, but if you go through it once, there's never a boss there. At least I've never seen another boss show up there. Um, and you go into that one area, the before that area. And there's actually two um, of those enemies that give you that, like, the metal slime variants of the enemies. And you can beat them easily. And so you go through them both twice, and that's a good way to, like, get some good experience. And then you just turn back to the previous area. So do that. You turn back to the previous area and then you keep fighting them again. That's what I've done for a while. I was like, I did that for a while until I got to like level 55, I think. And then eventually I just did the Sante Bori stuff. Which you can act, which you, you do get a shit ton of experience from that too by just like, uh, just even going through it, like you, like you don't even have to go through it all. Just go through like the last five area once you've, or like, if you go through it and you like stop at a checkpoint, that's fine. Then you can just go to another, like, then you can like go heal up once you get to like the checkpoint spot. And then, uh, like, if you're if you're not feeling confident, confident, like get to floor six, go out and eat. Uh, eat at the place that gives you the experience, so then you get more experience for it, too. So, like, that's mm -hmm. awesome. Like, it's awesome, in my opinion. Okay. What up? I want you to know, last night, Harukawa seemed at peace. Like an actor stepping off stage to thunderous applause. I think that's because he achieved his goals. He dissolved the Omi, and he got to see you again. Mm -hmm. He certainly looked like he was enjoying his Peking duck. I commented on it, actually. Can you believe this? He said he'd never had it before. What? He said he almost got to try it 50 years ago, but then his father was killed. By you. And he'd never gotten around to ordering it again. <sighs> After we finished, I said I'd walk him to his hotel, but he refused the offer. Said he wanted time alone to just take in the night air. I didn't push it. I just bid him a good evening and left. But if I had pushed it... He'd probably be alive right now. Or you both would have been dead. I failed him. No, it's not your fault. Let me ask you something. Do you think it was only loyalists? Yes. No doubt in my mind. It was revenge for his role in dissolving the Omi. Men who saw fit to end someone's life over such a thing. How could Yakuza do that? Kill a captain like him? Kasuga. The Omi loyalists in Kanto are already attempting to form a new faction. They complain the loudest about the dissolution. I imagine one of them is the likely culprit. Forming a new faction? After killing Arakawa's son. Yeah. Yes. Care to hazard a guess as to who is directing them? Tendo. Because probably. I think it's the one man who could actually bring them to heel. Ryo Aoki. Tendo probably is the one that actually killed him. No. A young master? Ordering the death of his own father? Yeah. He wouldn't be the first to commit patricide for power. The one silver lining is, with Arakawa gone, there's very few men Aoki can give direct orders to.
Eh? Kasuga, you should take revenge for Arakawa. No, Kasuga I don't kill. Men from the Seiryu clan. I don't need guns. You won't seek vengeance? Oh, I will. No. Arakawa-san wouldn't want me to kill the young master. I'm sure of that. Then... What will you do? Before he died, Arakawa talked about how sad it was the Yakuza were getting used. Used like pawns by people in power. That's why he disbanded the Omi. I think he wanted the Yakuza to go back to their roots. Like how they ought to use their power to help the weak and vulnerable, not just take shit by force. That's how it was. That's how it could be again. Arakawa-san had a dream, and I can continue it. If all I do is kill one guy, especially if it's his son, all of Arakawa's sacrifices will be for nothing. If that's, that's true. the only thing I do to honor him, I won't be able to face him in the afterlife. <sighs> what I really want to do is open the young master's eyes. By beating the away, shit out of him. Smack him upside the head if I have to. That's the best thing. So Aoki's probably going to end up being our final boss. Kasuga, Arakawa was truly blessed to have you. Do what you think is right. I'm sorry if my idea of payback offended you in any way. Nah, it makes sense for people I like sure you. I'm sure you did not, Chairman. How do you plan on getting an audience with Aoki? You can't just walk into the Tokyo government office and ask to see the governor. <laughs> It's all good. I think I've got something figured out. You can pull a plan out of your ass just like that, huh? <laughs> Still, yeah. going anywhere near Aoki will mean tight security. Take some of my men. On the very least, they'll bring your body back. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, really. But I'll be fine by myself. Not you're not going by yourself, dude. You'll I've have your friends got with the you. Best crew I could ask for. Ah, there it is. Plus, I'll probably ask the help for the Tojo Legends. So yeah. Well, there's nothing we can really do since I can't do the sub stories I want to do before I do the girl sub stories before. I do the cart stuff, so. Oh, jeez. You waited for me? How'd it go? Fine. I'm sorry to run off and get treated to a fancy meal without you guys. Well, looks like it put some pep back in you. Yeah, I figure if I keep moping around, Arakawa-san's gonna come down and kick my ass. But anyway, how about we go visit Kume? Visit Kume? Why? To make him arrange a meeting. I want to meet with Aoki, and Kume's got the hookup, seeing as he's Ogasawa. Also, I just want to point this out, too. We kind of dropped the whole political, finding a political person to run against Kume thing, didn't we? We kind of just dropped that, huh? Oh, well. Water's replacement. Sure, but why do you... I'm going to get him to start thinking and doing things like Arakawa-san would have wanted. Uh, sounds like a long shot. What makes you think Kume will cooperate with you? Oh, did I leave out the part where we rough him up? I mean, the guy deserves it. Hell yeah, he does. I'm in. Hell yeah, he does. Get out the bloodhounds and let's start the search. No search required. Today is announcement day. What's that? The deadline for every candidate to submit their paperwork. The political brawl has begun. Oh, here we go. Did we find yeah, someone to run against him? Everything? Probably not. The fate of the Great Wall hangs on this election. Why wouldn't I be following it closely? Do you know where Kume would be on announcement day? Well, each candidate will give their first speech in their district, usually on a huge stage. Kume's district, Kanagawa Second, has a massive stage by the gate on Isazaki Road. Let's head over to Isazaki Road then. Yeah, no, we we did. We literally just kind of... Well, then again, we did... We raised the money. That was our 
shit. Like, that's, that was what we were told to do was just go raise the money. And that's that. And, um, uh, Chairman Hoshino would have taken care of finding the actual candidate. Obviously, he has not found that candidate. Oh, this one's the money. Okay. Who's hungry? Me. All right, let's just take care of that. I got all my stuff. One of those guys that these okay, they didn't despawn, but they're not that. Past them, because I can definitely make my way. Hey, fuck. I don't want to get into any fights. And run. Running, 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 Kasuga-kun, hey, you're going to a vocational school. Yeah, can't say I ever saw myself doing it at this age, but <laughs> I've already passed good them. When you pass a test, huh? Think there'd be something for me there? I'm not certified in anything. How about a chef's license? You're pretty good at cooking. Hmm, I'd probably want something a little more fitting. Are there any certifications for assassination or shit like that? I'd like to take that test as well. Perhaps I could start at level two, however. Guys, are you freaking serious right now? Are we freaking serious right now? Are, are we seriously talking about killing people right now? Yo, you know, like, I just need to gain... I just need to get Ichiban to level 70, and I've already gotten all of his level up-based uh, trophies. I mean, definitely I'll... Do, like, I don't know if I'm going to do the... the. So, you guys remember in the previous video, I mentioned... um. Uh, how Amon is not a part of the story or even in the story. You can only fight him in premium adventure. Uh, they definitely recommend that you do it at level 99. No shit. And have like, basically have all the skills and such from classes and like equip the classes here and here and here. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. That I, maybe I will, but it might be something I won't do right away. It might be like a special episode I'll do at some point. Um, once I finish up the, the game. Obviously, because I have to finish the game first before I can even get into premium adventure. Well, the crime lords cackle with glee. Virtuous law-abiding citizens are cowering in fear. What's become of our once great nation? Dude, the Yakuza's gone. There is no when more crime. When did morality become the butt of the joke? I alone can deliver this country back into the hands of her upstanding citizenry. I am Sota Kume, and a vote for me is a vote for change. Damn. After all we've been through, I'm actually starting to agree with the guy. Come on, what he's saying is a load of crap. No matter how drunk everyone is on Bleach Japan Jungle Juice, that kind of drunk can mess you up as bad as my kind. Tragic way, Ume is just another name on Aoki's long list of victims. Hmm. Our enemies don't deserve our sympathy. Good point. Let's get him. Hey, mind letting us through? Excuse us. Hey, you can't just barge in here. Oh, sorry, sir. Could you just let us... Wait. Don't I know you? Oh. Uh, yeah! You were a bodyguard in the parking lot! He's not the only guy we've seen before. There's a bunch of homie here. Oh, shit. Well, look at that. You saved me the trouble of tracking you down. Time to pay for that shit you pulled in the parking lot! 
Sure, let's see the drunken tiger fist. Oh, I have a feeling it's probably more powerful if the more drunk I am. You bitch. Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening me. Wow, I honestly did not expect it to yeah, knock yeah, both yeah. of them out. I know for sure it knocked the one dude I was aiming at, but not the other dude. Yeah, like half of his health left still. <laughs> Interfere, did you? Well, not today. I doubt this was the only speech Kume's giving today. Where's he going right now? His campaign stops and stuff are listed on his website. The more people, the better. But I can promise you ain't getting close to Kume. Will he not talk to regular people? No. But don't worry, he's gonna win. Governor's orders. All y'all's been blacklisted as threats. Better get ready for the takeover. Oh. Well, that's not good. Motherfucker. More Omi boys than I can count are rolling on over here to Injincho. Whole place will be swarmed. You won't be able to take a shit without us knowing. That's gross, man. Fuckers! Fuckers! Aoki's always one step ahead of us. <laughs> I certainly am. The fuck? I realize there's no precedent for a governor to intervene in national politics. But there's never been a precedent any time we advanced as a society. Uh, okay, this is this is not talking to us. This is like some interview thing that's going on. What about your critics who say you're just too young? That national politics is no place for schoolyard debate. And yet, old fucks are also ruining the country because they're stuck in the way it was when they were elected fifty fucking years ago. Fuck off. Get term limits, age limits. Are they implying local politics is some kind of playground? No, I don't think they're saying that. How about we take another look at the survey results? Ah, uh, yes. percent of respondents said they support Governor Aoki assuming the role of party chair. The principal reason for their support was the success of the Kamrocho 3K plan. Do you have any comments about that, Aoki-san? I couldn't have achieved the amazing results of the 3K plan without the Tokyo Metropolitan Police. That was how cooperation between law enforcement and local government should look. What about the Yakuza still in Kamurocho after the Tojo clan's collapse? There are rumors that a delegation of Kansai Yakuza have filled the void. By Kansai Yakuza, do you mean the Omi Alliance? Because I recently heard that they are officially dissolved. Yes, that is confirmed. But doesn't that, in fact, prove something else? Doesn't it prove we can reduce Yakuza activity without a risky policy like the Kamurocho 3K plan? It's not a risky policy. Not compared to the risks of letting Yakuza run free. I'm sure you've yeah, also now heard he's... that Masumi Arakawa, an officer who spear... Yeah, now they are, um... Now he's twisting this... In, uh, in the way in his favor. Headed the dissolution was murdered. So you see, it may seem like this was a peaceful process, but I think it was anything but. As always, the underworld keeps hidden its dark, unseemly truth. On the other hand, 
The Kamrucho 3K plan didn't involve any murder at all. My plan was the perfect example of a peaceful process, accomplished with my expertise from Bleach Japan. Speaking of which, the Citizens Liberal Party is endorsing quite a number of Bleach Japan candidates this cycle. As party chair, what are your priorities? I want to rejuvenate the Citizens Liberal Party. The Bleach Japan candidates are young and brimming with energy. By harnessing that energy, I know we can bleach all the gray zones in this entire nation. Mm. This bastard's using Arakawa's death to win an election after yep. all but pulling the trigger himself. That's disgusting. Just when I thought I couldn't hate politicians anymore, he gives me a reason. Guys, remember the mission. Kume's going to give another speech somewhere, so what do we do? Well, judging by how it went down here, we won't be able to lay a finger on him. Sounds like you're in a tight spot. Oh, hey, man. Chairman. So, you figured your best path to Aoki was just to scare the shit out of Kume? <laughs> Guilty as charged. But they're always one step ahead of us. Anyway. What oh, are you doing I think here? we just. We're going to talk about our politician. Back at Heian Tower. Huh? Or that he's going to give me three million and say, like, yeah, that was a bust of a move, so fuck it. Can't think of what that be. What is it? Kazuga, did you already forget the task you entrusted to me? The task I... Oh, he did give it back! Because he's like, yeah, oh, couldn't find anyone. finding a candidate! Yes. Remember the whole point of collecting all that money to make Kume lose? Yeah, did you find someone? Someone who can win? Fuck no. Oh, I searched far and wide. But you didn't find anyone. But then, all of a sudden... Oh, he's going to have me run, isn't yeah. he? Lay it on me. Kasuga. There you it is. Run. What? What? I only wish I'd thought of it earlier. Wait just a second. Back it up. Why the hell should it be me? I don't know. I don't first thing about politics. in hell of winning this. True. I doubt you'd even get enough votes to qualify for the return of your registration deposit. So why would you want to flush three million down the drain? Well, the money doesn't matter. Besides, so you run a fucking gump. You get three million yen after every shareholder's mean. That means shit to you. Three million yen is a deal if it gives us a chance to catch Kume. I'm not really following, Chairman. Oh, there's like, every just election, run. The candidates drive around in their trucks giving speeches. The district's not that big, so they frequently run into each other. When they do, it's customary for them to wish each other luck and shake hands. It's a farce, of course, but it's custom. That's your chance to get close to There me. we go. So if I run in the election, I can walk right up to Kume. Compared to Kume, you'd be a nobody, what they call a fringe candidate. Since Kume's victory is assured, he'll be expected to be a good sport. That includes not turning you down for a handshake if you ask for one. He can't just say no? If he did, everyone would say he acted like an arrogant jerk to the underdog. Bad press spreads quickly. Mm -hmm. Public opinion changes with the wind. You see how perfect it is? This is how you corner Kume. See, your original plan was to make Kume lose. But now the plan is just to use him as a stepping stone, correct? Uh, aren't you guys forgetting something? Ichiban did hard time. For murder. It doesn't matter what's on your record. Once you've served your term, you can run. What do you say, Kasuga? Mm. 
I wish I could tell you to take your time and think it over, but time is a luxury you don't have. The deadline to announce your candidacy is today. You have to decide right now. Fuck it. Do it, Ichiban. I'll do it. Seriously? I mean, what else because is there to legal, do? Doesn't mean it's sane, but... Then hurry to the election office and get your paperwork done. It's the government, so naturally they close pretty early. Wait, what time is it? Holy shit, guys, we gotta hurry. Let's run. No dilly dallying with sides. Quest now. Where's the election office anyway? In the Nishihama building on Carriage Highway. Thanks. No dilly dallying with sub stories. <laughs> Thanks to my connections, I now have the privilege to send some real rough boys to those who need a little backup. Swing on by if you're interested. What? What? Who was that from? Oh! Wait, no. Oh, this is the quest. This is the crest boy. You know what? I'll check them out once I do this. Uh, once I do the story bit here. Gotta run, 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 run as fast as we can. That was our bad guy. Yeah, yeah, let's go back here. Go the back way, back way. I'm going through the back way, back way. I'm going through this place here, place here. That's actually kind of shutting down here, down here. Yes, I'm just rhyming here with here, here. Because there's nothing else I fear here, fear here. Sorry! Political Ichiban, report for duty. Oh, that was exhausting. I have to sign one more form, I swear. Never imagined there could be that many. Well, of course, they're not exactly going for student council. I'm just glad we made it in time. Hey. See that guy's face? It was about to snap. <laughs> well, nobody likes the last minute arrival, but it worked out, thankfully. Don't act like it's over. The paperwork was just the beginning. Tomorrow, we hit the campaign trail. I'm only running to get close to Kume. I don't actually have to campaign, do I? Not gonna happen. You do, actually. If Kume and the rest of society don't recognize you as a candidate, the plan will fall, all fall apart. Uh, she's right. <sighs> How am I supposed to even campaign, though? I don't have an election van or even a megaphone. Well, then you better get it figured out. I'm with Saichan. You gotta take this seriously. And yeah, we'll figure it out tomorrow. <sighs> yeah. Asshole McGee was right there listening. Oh, now I can do sub side stories, sub stories, and sit shit. Uh, fuck, wasn't there some? Oh, yeah, the crest dude. Okay, well, it's not too. There's a taxi right here. So 
So, yeah. Okay. There's w there's one more thing I'm gonna do too. Once um. I can get Diego to be a pound mate. Or what I say. Ooh, so I need a hundred in order to do that. Okay. That's gonna take a while. That's gonna take a while. I actually did have a hundred at one point. Or seventy-five at least. I had I bought the Sakura Storm. And I bought like something else too, so. All right, it's gonna be a while, but I will get them at some point. How many, how many do I actually have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I have sixteen of them. Boost damage most likely causes bleed. Oh, good! I actually have more pound mates that'll actually do fucking damage. Demon fire rain. He has no conditions. Weep in despair as the mad dog of Shimano descends with crackling madness and thundering fury from atop of the empire he built. Countless daggers strike and may paralyze all foes. I'm scared to know how much this is going to cost afterwards. Same with Taiga. The man rumored to have slain 18 Yakuza delivers a pounding like no other using a manhole cover, momentum, and tons of collateral damage. Mows down all enemies, greatly lowering the defense. Oh, yeah, there's the cat. Right here. There's the cat. Oh, he also does damage, too. I think the only palmate I did not show... Actually, did I actually show it off at some point? I don't remember. The only palmate I've never shown off was, I think, him. I think he's the only one I never showed off. Might have done him on screen, too. Off screen, I don't remember. Oh, no, Michi. Okay, so there's that. Um, I want to go to the Sujimon because he had a reward for me, so I want to get that. Uh, I guess right there, the, the street one. But anyway, uh, the one other thing I want to do too, I'll do this right after I get this um, reward, is I'm going to go and just unlock all of the classes for all the characters. Even though I've already done for the girls because they have mm -hmm. like, I think, two less mm -hmm. um, than the guys do. Oh, hey, a golden plate. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, so I obviously already had their classes unlocked fully for them. Mm. Well, look who it is. You've got yourself quite a collection now. If only you could battle and breed them. Sorry, just ignore this old man and his silly ideas. Here's something you might like. Go on, take it. Use it however you wish. War God Talisman. Now you've gone above me all the Call of Duty, but there's still more Sujimon <laughs> out there. How many more do I need? Uh, less than 20. 18. I need 18 more. Wow. Obviously, bosses. Uh, so, survive bar now, right? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, no. Well, let me find a taxi. Let me, uh, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Uh, part-time here. Yes. Um, Betul. So, we are definitely going to end up going back to Kamurocho at some point. But that's only going to increase my intellect, which I do not need. Pound Town is confidence. 
Using attack items are also intelligent. So I'll probably just do that so it's just for the sake of having them done. Get two more assassin weapons, it'll be kindness. Get three more gangster weapons. And that will be a uh, gangster of definitely confidence. If I can find one more bodyguard weapon. Hell, just like evolving them. Same with the host, even though I already have that. Four man weapon, just two. You know what? I'll, I think I was just going to do that. Because, um. When you. Um. Hmm? So I'll get to hmm? Hello Work. When you do, uh. Uh, when you level up your gear, I believe there's like a plus one, a plus two, and then the next level up for the gear is actually to a different weapon. So I think that's actually kind of cool. So let me just unlock all the subs, all the classes here. Oh, it's you. For everyone. Congratulations. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna change back. You're doing great. Congratulations. You're doing great. Hey, life experiences. That means I've changed all of Kasuga's. No, no, not that one. And Sayako's already done. Jao just needs to get these. Congratulations. You're doing great. Congratulations. You're doing great. Congratulations. I actually like that one. You're doing great. Congratulations. Oh, and you're good. Great. Congratulations. I think I would ever only have him wear the Yakuza 6 version of his outfit is dirt if he's ever You're doing host. great. There he's good. Congratulations. You're doing great. Congratulations. Okay, there we go. We've got them all. I'm sure you'll do great. Good to go. I'm a good oh, it's you. Sup? Yes? I hear your sex. Sec? Not sex. <laughs> yes. Give her 10? Okay, no. Not yet. <laughs> when when it's the 10 one, that's the last time. Like, that's the last thing you can do. Obviously, I don't think I can do that with Samaria yet. Because I need my passion to be at a 10 for her. I'll actually see that when we go into her thing. And Charisma is for the girl at the bar, so... My vol how volcanic my passion is, so volcanic. Okay. Nice. Nice. 
Oh, it just counts it. Oh no, that's just me doing the upgrades. Looking good. Just there we touch. go. Well, that was the divine footwork. Almost there. Looking good. Just finishing touch. Looking good. Almost there. Just touch. Okay, got more charisma. Uh, I'm actually going to see what the other ones I need. Well, yeah, let's look at down here. So if I can get... Okay, this is... Leg gear doesn't matter. Uh, Night Queen. Okay, so Night Queen would help. So Night Queen and cooking. Okay. Night Queen and cooking. Night Queen cooking bodyguard. Night Queen cooking bodyguard. Gangster, I don't have any gangsters. So Night Queen cooking bodyguard. Night Queen. Night Queen cooking bodyguard. Night Queen cooking bodyguard. Okay. Night Queen cooking bodyguard. And of course, do battle guard fights. Fighting in a battle guard. Fighting a musician will be kindness. Forcer's intellect. Chef will be charisma. Fortune teller's intellect. Okay. Fortune cook. No, it wasn't. Fuck. I forgot what. Night Queen. Night Queen. Something in cooking. I can't remember what it was. Nice, nice, nice. Just finishing touch. Not missing some high end leather. I think it was bodyguard. Nice, nice, nice. Looking good. Almost there. Nice, nice, nice. Looking good. Ah, I just need some reinforced alloy for that. I don't think it was musician. I honestly can't remember. Oh, it's not a big deal. So itchy. Um, okay. So we did that. Mmm. You know what? I think we did good enough stuff that I can end the party here. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this part of Let's Play Yakuza Like a Dragon. In the next part, guys, uh, I guess we start our political career. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you like the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below what you guys like about the video, didn't like about the video. Let me know what you guys think of um, Kazuga being the one to run for the governor. Or not the governor, or whatever thing this is for. Yeah. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That's in the description below. So, also find me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RBG, Kim Kid Twitter, are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.